Okay, to replace the rear arms on a Mavic Pro, you're going to need a one and a half millimeter hex key, a precision Phillips screwdriver, a pry tool of some sort. I like to use one like this. A guitar pick is also helpful. You can get pry tools pretty cheap in these mobile phone repair kits on Amazon. You're also going to need a set of small needle nose pliers is helpful. And then you're going to need some black silicone. Uh, make sure it's the adhesive sealant. Here's the part number if you want to get Permatex. This is to replace the silicone that insulates and holds down some of the wires inside for vibration resistance and just so there's no pull. Um, there's another type of stuff you can use instead of this, but this is totally electronic safe and it's a lot easier to get locally if you don't want to wait to ship something from online. Uh, you also are going to need a soldering iron. You can get these pretty cheap and then some solder. This might not be necessary, but you want to, want to have some just in case. So the first thing you're going to do is take out the battery. Go ahead and remove all four propellers. I've already done that. And um, I like to always make sure I have the gimbal lock and the shield on just to protect that. It's one of the most sensitive components on the Mavic. And the next thing you're going to do is start taking it apart. So there's six different screws. Um, they're hex key. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to go ahead and remove those. These four. And then there's these little covers that will pop off. Uh, take notice here, the two that came out of the covers are actually smaller. The other two are exactly the same as the ones from the top cover. So just set those aside to make sure you don't mix those up. What we need to do now is pop off the little covers here. Um, you can do that with a lot of different tools. Sometimes you can just get your phenol in there. Sometimes it can be a little bit of a pain. We'll see. That didn't take long. Okay. So after you've taken off those little covers, you're going to take off these hex bolts right here and here. In pile. Then you're going to flip it over and very carefully pry up from the back. There's actually a harness connector under here. So you want to be careful not to pull it up very high at all because um, you'll need to disconnect that so you don't damage it. So just kind of work your way around the edges with your pry tool. You can just lightly pry up and this, they should snap loose pretty easily. Once you get to the front, it does get more difficult, I noticed. Um, when I did this beforehand, one of the little clips actually broke. You really got to get in here and pop these loose to get it to really start coming off like so. Now, if you can see this little harness connector, you can just disconnect it with your pry tool carefully from the back side. That's how I've done it. Um, you can also remove the front of the top cover and peel it all the way back and then just pop it out. But it'll be easier to actually put it on whenever the top cover is off, but getting it off, it's pretty easy to get it from back here. Now just continue working your way around the front here. I had a pretty hard time getting these front ones off, um, but just do the best that you can. So in order to remove the arms, uh, there's basically two different hex bolts and then uh, they will slide up and we're going to need to desolder. Uh, these here and the reason you have the silicone is as you can see there's a little dab here and here that kind of holds the wires uh, firmly so that they don't move around at all and there's also a dab in the middle it looks like too so we're going to try and recreate that just to put it as back to factory fresh as possible so we're going to go ahead and do this 
rear right one first. And the bolts that I'm referring to are here and here. And these are a different size, so you're going to want to put these off by themselves. And there's also going to be two Phillips head screws that come off as well. Phillips heads, you kind of have to move the wire harness out of the way a little bit. Okay, take your needle nose pliers, pop those out of there. And then this should work its way off pretty easily. Now there's three wires that you're going to need to desolder and um, it is gray, white, and black in that order. If it's helpful, take a picture of it to make sure you don't forget the order. But it's a pretty straightforward and it's the same on the other side so that shouldn't be too hard. So here's the new arm. And as I mentioned in the other video, um, the reason I'm replacing these is because the impact caused this little tab right here to crack. And so the arms were actually able to bend up further than they were supposed to, throwing off the axis of the propellers a little bit. Uh, you can watch my other video if you want more information on that issue. So I'm going to pull this out of here carefully and go ahead and see if I can peel this silicone off. I'm not sure, it's probably on there pretty tight. I might just have to cut them out a little bit. So I'm just going to desolder these little wires here real quick. And you want to be quick, you don't want to put a ton of heat on these. Actually, I had to end up switching to a different old school soldering iron that I had. That other one I think actually broke, so we're going to make it work here. We're going to take silicone and just lay a bead just across it like they did. I went ahead and sped up this last part here because the other arm is literally the exact same process as the arm that I just showed you, so I figured you didn't need to see that again. Um, a few things to note, if you've never soldered before, that's no problem. It's pretty easy to do. Um, this is a pretty open solder job, so there's lots of space. Just be careful not to melt the plastic. You're basically just touching the tip of the soldering iron to the um, solder until it melts, and just try and be quick. Uh, you don't want to put a ton of heat in it, um, just because it will possibly cause damage to the electrical components. Um, so you can see here I'm attaching the harness back and snapping the case together. Um, I actually ran out of recording space faster than I expected here, so it's going to cut off. But the um, assembly after this is super easy. You're just going to put all the screws back in, and you can jump back to the beginning part of my video if you forgot where they go. Hey guys, thanks for checking out my video on the Mavic Pro arm replacement. I hope it was super helpful and you learned a lot. If you have any questions, leave those below and I'll make sure and get back to you guys to answer those. Please like and subscribe and I look forward to sharing more videos with you.